Let's go and have a battle of the bank boxes with Nichols. Hey everyone, it's Rob with Rob Finds Treasure and since I'm doing that penny bank battle series, I thought I would go ahead and do one with Nichols as well. You can see here we grabbed a box from Bank of America, Chase, and Wells Fargo. So, I've created myself a nickel battle sheet. We will be looking for V-nickels, Buffaloes, Silvers, any foreign, oh nines of course, because they're low mint, any types of errors and varieties, 30s, 40s, and 50s nickels all get their own point system. I've got the points down below. Really curious to see which bank produces the best. Just like the penny battles, we'll be doing this with 10 boxes of each. This is round one. And we're gonna start with Wells Fargo, then go to Bank of America, and then Chase. I've chose Chase last in this series because I hunt Chase Nichols the most. I know what I get, which is pretty good. So I'm curious to see what we get in the other two. Without further ado, we're gonna kick it off with this Wells Fargo box. And I could already see the enders. They're all circulated by the way. I've already opened them all so we know that they're good for the hunt. And there's no enders in this box that I could see clearly. Let's get the sun started with this roll right here. First roll of the Wells Fargo bank box and we've got ourselves a 40s nickel, a 1946 Philadelphia. Roll number two, we've got back to back finds here. A 1947 Philadelphia and check it out, 2009D. Roll number four and we've got ourselves a 1946 San Francisco. Also found a 51D, which is semi-key, and a 59. Roll five, another 40s nickel, 1948. Oh, Denver. Roll number 10, guys, and we're gonna get ourselves a look at a 1939. <sighs> Can it be an S or D mint mark? Nope, it's one of the key dates if it is, but it's not. We'll still take it though, it's a 30s nickel. Roll number 35, we've got a 1940 here. First one from that year, and it's a Philadelphia. Don't let the number of fines fool you guys in the 40s because we've got a lot of other ones in the 50s and 09s. Roll 37, another 1940, Philadelphia. Roll 48. It's gonna have a 1948, Philadelphia. Same roll, a few coins later. 1949, Philadelphia. The Wells Fargo box is hunted, guys. We got four 09s, one in the 30s, eight in the 40s, and 14 in the 50s. To go along with a couple of nice coins here, 64 and a 65. We'll check them against the album. No silver, no buffaloes, no really crazy finds, but a lot of them. So that's gonna set the bar pretty high for Bank of America. But if it gets a buffalo or a few silvers, it's in the money. All right, let's kick off Bank of America then. Roll number 11 of B of A, we've got our first 40s nickel here, and it is a 1940, a 1940 Philadelphia. Roll number 17, and we're gonna have our second 40s nickel the box, a 1941 Philadelphia. Well, we're on roll 25, almost halfway through the box. We've only got a couple of 40s, couple, three 50s, and a couple of 09s. But look what I see peeking out at me. We're gonna have a proof nickel. Holy cow. And it's a piece proof nickel. A Little bit dinged up, but I can wipe that with a microcloth. Still a nice looking uh, nickel. You don't see these too often. I think I've maybe found six or seven in my life. So we're gonna wipe it down. And I don't have a spot on the stat sheet for this, so I've gotta be fair. And a proof nickel's definitely worth more than a uh, foreign, but maybe not as much as a silver. I'll have to add a column for proofs. I do find these. Beautiful find, love it. Let's get back to the hunt. Roll 36 is gonna finally give us our third 1940s coin, 1940 Philadelphia. 
slow box, but proof's gonna help out. And we still get a buffalo or a silver in there to really help out. Asking you shall receive, rule 38. Should be a silver there. Looking like it. Has that color and those edges. It is. It's a Denver Mint. 1945. So that's going to help the box a lot with the silver. Let's find more. Roll 46. We're going to have another 40s coin here. This one's a 47. Denver. Final roll of the box. Roll 50. We've got another 40s coin here. The 1948. Looks like there could be a couple of more old ones. So just a quick peek just in case. We'll just take a little look here. Never know. 64. I'll go through it in more detail, but uh, we'll give you a wrap up here in a second. All right, the Bank of America box is hunted. It didn't have as many finds as the Wells Fargo box, but it had some better ones. We've got two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight in the 50s, so six less. One, two, three, four, five in the 40s, so three less. But we did find a silver or nickel and a proof. Can't get mad at that in a box. I have four coins to look at against my album and four 09s. So probably just got edged out by the Wells Fargo. Picked up some points for these, but we didn't have a 30s and we had a number of 40s and 50s less. Still, we won't know the final tallies until we get the spreadsheet done, which we'll do after we hunt that chase box. Let's get on to the chase box. All right, guys, roll number two. We've got a 47 nickel here. We'll take it for sure, 47 Philly. Chase box is starting off slow. We're on roll number 13, but we finally got another 40s nickel here. And this one's a 1941, is that an S? 1941 S, I believe, it's not focusing very good because it looks like it might be damaged. I'll take a look at it under the microscope, but our second 40s nickel. Roll 14, another 40s nickel, a 1946 Philadelphia. Roll number 19, We're gonna have another 40s nickel here. 1941 Philadelphia. Roll number 26, we've got another 1940s nickel. 1940 Philadelphia. Roll 43, gonna have another 40s nickel. 47, actually 47 Philadelphia. Roll 45 guys and check this out right here. Got a 1939 nickel. Will there be a mint mark? There is a mint mark, is that an S? 1939 S, it's one of the key dates. 6.6 .6 million minted and we got one. That's a good find in the box. It's gonna help the cause, definitely. Roll 46, we got a 1946. Philadelphia as well. Same roll a few coins later. Another 1941, this time it's a San Francisco. Roll 47 guys and check this out. We got a proof. Pretty uh, discolored, like it was kept in a manila envelope or something, but it's most definitely the 1981S. It's beat up, and I don't think I need it for my collection, but I'll be checking shortly. Still, a proof in the box again. Well, we finished that box of Chase Nichols, and we ended up getting uh, 2, 3, 4, 5, 8, 9, 10, 11 in the 50s, and 2, 4, 7, 8, 8 in the 40s. We got a 1939S, which is a key date. We also got a proof 1981S, pretty toasty, but we found one, and four 2009s. We're gonna have to get these in the stat sheet and see which bank won round one. Well guys, after the first round of nickels, it looks like Wells Fargo and Chase Bank tied at 32 and a half points and B of A made 26 and a half. It's only the first round, but the Wells Fargo had three more 50s than the Chase, but the Chase had the proof nickel and that tied it up. So, first round's in the bag. 
It's anyone's game. Like I said, we'll be doing 10 rounds of the nickels, just like we're doing 10 rounds of the pennies. Hopefully you're enjoying my Battle of the Bank Box series. If you are, I'd appreciate a thumbs up. And as always, everyone, happy hunting. And thanks for watching.